My name is Germán Avila Sácar. I am an associate professor in the Department of Biology at the University of Winnipeg. My field of research is plant-animal interactions. This includes friendly interactions, like those between pollinators and plants, but I also study the antagonistic interactions, those with the animals that eat plants. In Canada, we have produced in the last uh, four years an average of 411,000 tons of tomatoes. And that represents a, what they call a gate value of $70 million. So that is, that is a big market, and that is a, a lot of money, and, and that is an important food source. But uh, there are some problems growing tomatoes, and one of them is this pest. It's, a, it's called a white fly, and instead of chewing the leaves like we see many caterpillars do, they actually pierce the stems or the leaves and suck the sap. When you have many white flies on a given plant, they weaken the plant, and they also fly around and they transmit viruses. Many of these viruses end up killing plants. Apart from that, when the fruits are maturing and the white flies are on them, their feces and their excretions remain on the fruits and that becomes a perfect place for a special kind of mold called sooty mold to cover the fruits. Now it doesn't change the quality of tomatoes too much, happily, but farmers have to get extra help and pay extra hands to clean the tomatoes before they can package them and send them to sell. We would like to know what, what would be the loss in terms of tomato production when we add less fertilizer or no fertilizer, we would have perhaps fewer fruits or not as large as we get with fertilizer. But we would also like to see how white flies respond to that. And even though there are some varieties that are more resistant to white flies than others, so they are less tasty to the white flies, they will prefer those plants that have more nitrogen. So to get this information, we are conducting this pro project. And when I say we, it is, uh, this involves uh, my students, in particular, uh, Sri Devi Ramachandran, who is a master's student uh, with me. And this is her main thesis project. Plant science is, a, is my area of interest. Uh, and so I'm so grateful to get this opportunity to work in this project because uh, it will help me to, uh, in the, this hands-on experience will help me to continue my research and I think this is the first step in my research career. In the last decade, external funding for small universities has, uh, has become really difficult to get. And, and so these days, I am relying on uh, internal grants from the University of Winnipeg. And most of that money has already gone towards supporting the scholarship that actually supports financially my student being here uh, as an international student at the university. We need uh, to get a few important materials for this project. That includes pots, and it's about 360 pots. We need the soil for that. We need fertilizer because we're going to test different fertilizer levels. And perhaps one of the most costly items here is the screen that we need to carry out the experiment where we have some plants with white flies and other plants without white flies. And this is a, a very specialized screen. It's called anti-aphid screen with really tiny holes. It allows air going through, but not these uh, very small insects. If you believe that it is worth donating towards this project so that we have good tomatoes and fewer risks to our health, and we benefit Manitobans, farmers, consumers, then consider donating. Thank you.